What's up guys, happy Thursday. It's day four, today's one of my beast regeneration days or an active recovery day as I'll call it. Basically, you know what it is, it's a day off from you know my total body workouts in this program. And what I mean by total body is including, you know, different body parts from, you know, my upper body, lower body, you know, back, etc. That's what I mean by total body. And I'm working those different muscles groups, you know, every different day. So that way it rests properly and it grows properly. So today I'll show you guys a little bit of what I do, you know, on this active recovery day. I'm gonna do some band pull aparts, which are good for your lats. And then I have, a, you know, one of the highly intense things I'm gonna be doing for cardio and conditioning is a kettlebell pretty much kick through. So I'm gonna start by doing, you know, some swings with it and then a kick through. I have to alternate those in between my main exercises and do it about three times each of these exercises. It's gonna be pretty intense, but a short workout. I'm gonna sweat a lot, finish it off with, you know, a six pack shuffle. It's gonna be a good day, guys. And, you know, I'll probably just talk about some things at the end again. Happy Thursday, stay consistent. We're getting there, guys. 2020 is about unlimited gains. The only one stopping you is you. Don't let that happen. Let's get it. The exercise is my band pull apart. So I'm showing you how I had my positioning uh, for my hands. And basically, this is a definitely good back exercise here to contract those muscles. I'm basically trying to like rip the band apart, you know, hence band pull aparts. And you kind of see my thumbs are going to rotate here to pull it right to my chest. And I'm holding it a little bit to contract my lats, make sure, you know, I'm really getting that good squeeze in there using the correct muscles and making sure my hands rotate properly and I hold that contraction. Um, had to do three sets of this in this circuit. This was the last set I did of 15. And it was definitely tough. Um, I mean, not too tough, 15. 40 pounds of resistance, but definitely felt it in my muscles and my lats. So it was a good burn. Nearly after that, I had to do my cardio workout, which were the kettlebell kick through swings here. Those are the kick throughs and then right into the kettlebell swing. And the swing is a great posterior chain workout and it's a hinge movement. It's not a squat then hinge. So you gotta use your hips to, you know, bring you know, everything back, and you go like you're hiking a football, pretty much. Did this for about 60 seconds. It's definitely killer. It's not the hardest thing to do, but it's definitely good cardio. And I like these movements. Makes me feel like a ninja a little bit, but yeah, and those hinges are gonna help translate to when I do deadlifts, you know, you know, barbell, you know, actual, hip hinges and things like that. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, just as I progress to go heavier and the movements all come together, I'm gonna get better and better at my deadlifts. That's gonna help with squats as well. But yeah, so I had to do this actually twice in the whole circuit. This was the first time, so. Right after that little exercise, I had to do my hip band ladders, which are for the hips. So you get your resistant band and you put it over kind of like your shoulders and you kind of uh, make a cross with your arms. So that way it kind of stays like that. And basically you keep your feet forward and you use your hip to move your leg and you do a half inch with the other foot and it works that hip. So I went 10 steps and with the leg in that direction and then I do 10 steps in the opposite direction. And if you keep your legs straight and you do it right, you're definitely gonna feel it in your hips. It's definitely good, uh, you know, to build the strength in the hips, help with the mobility of your hips as well too. Second set of my kettlebell kick throughs. And it was intense right after the hip ladders. No rest. It's immediately right after it. Yeah. 
I'm pretty much just making sure I don't break too much form here. I want to make sure I'm hip hinging right, not going into a squat because I want to make sure it's using my lower back, hips, and butt to hinge this kettlebell. But yeah, I recommend if you guys have never done this or even hip hinges with the kettlebell, start trying to work those into your workout. It's definitely really good, you know, and it'll translate to a lot of those other exercises you do like squats as well too, deadlifts, even possibly, you know, barbell rows and things like that. So it's definitely good to practice those. It's definitely good cardio as well too if you do them, you know, for 60 seconds or however long, you know, at least 30 seconds or more most likely. So that way it actually puts you through a challenge, but it's pretty fun. I definitely like this exercise. was arm one of my rotator cuff extension this was the last set in the exercise group i did here the third round of it um that was the one i wanted to record just all these exercises it's easier to show easier to kind of get done this way but basically again you're keeping that you know elbow tucked in using your rotator cuff muscle to pull that back and you do want to use a light weight just because it's going to help you be more successful and use the right muscle this was my other side of my rotator cuff extension i just had to do 15 with each arm basically you want to keep your elbow tucked in so that way you're using the right muscle because you don't want to use your forearm or shoulder it's all about using that rotator cuff to dominate this exercise you know you actually have to use pr actual light weight so that way you use the right muscle and it burns for sure i love it all right these next three activities weren't on the schedule i just did them because i wanted to i did three sets of 10 with each arm here this is really good for your bicep shoulder i feel like it uses your lat a little bit you gotta stay stable as well too, so it doesn't make you fall. You know, could use your core strength as well. And then I just switched to my left. See, so almost fell here and it's all about balance. And then it's also like, it helps you actually learn how to control it and then burst into a good speed movement. And I've been learning, you know, type two muscle fibers are built that way with those burst movements and you want a lot of those. All right, I decided to do another activity. These are just step up kind of lunges here. Basically, you know, you start with one leg on the bench and then you basically drive and basically it's almost like stepping up on a step. That's the best way to explain it. But you're driving that other leg that's not on the bench up, you know, as hard as you can, bringing it nearly to your chest. It's like, it's very good. You know, if you've never done these, it'll help, you know, with the lunging muscles you use you know in your leg you know your calf quad it helps with balance as well too because you know when you switch usually when you have your like left leg up there on the bench that's when you're gonna lose like your most balance at least that's how it was for me like sometimes this was my third set sometimes i did have to kind of readjust because like i was losing my balance but that's what it's all about i could have went heavier but it was a light day all right so i was alternating my step ups with basic you know hops with a medicine ball it was about eight pounds did this for about 35 seconds and then i would rest and repeat you know the step ups and then this i did you know three rounds of it it's definitely really good it helped my calves my you know endurance and agility i'm also just trying to get you know better you know hopping skills in general this was killer though it's not easy you know you think just a basic hop is but it takes a lot of energy <laughs> all right this is just one of my favorite cardio machines i wanted to show you guys all right guys so that was the end of day four showed you guys my active recovery day and week eight of you know jeff cavalier's total beast program shows you guys kind of like every day you know basically it has you know your highly intense training days you know monday 
Wednesday and Friday, and you alternate it with active recovery days, you know, which are just basic light activities to get your blood going, work, you know, opposite muscle groups that you, you know, didn't use. And then, you know, also doing highly intense cardio, which is going to help you burn that fat that you're craving to burn. And, you know, it was really good. As you tell with these exercises, I did it three times. It was a circuit, kept the rest, you know, short, and it kept me sweating a lot. So, you know, that's kind of what you want to do. You know, if you're just starting out, you don't have to do, you know, anyone's program. Just kind of go work different muscle groups, you know, kind of like I am. Monday, dedicated to a certain muscle group. Next day, do light activities with some cardio. You know, don't work those same muscles. Next day, do a total body workout, you know, with different muscle groups, make it intense as possible to work those major muscle groups. Next day after, come back to it with an active recovery, you know, go do some cardio, lightweight training, you know, don't overdo it because you're going to come back on the following day to kill it, you know, on the last day of the week. So it's pretty much a good program to follow, you know, that's pretty much what personal trainers do. They kind of follow that systematic program of scheduling that basic training for everyone and I remember when I was first actually getting into weightlifting for football that's kind of like the schedule they have so if you're trying to get more athletic I would try to get your exercise training into kind of like a program designed like that if you guys have any more questions or comments go ahead and like subscribe you can message me tell your friends and family share this I'm gonna help Everyone try to get to their weight loss goals. Let's get it, guys. 2020, it's unlimited goals. We got to keep going. Let's get it.